In this surgical video of a right knee, we describe an arthroscopic three-tunnel bow plug technique for medial meniscus allograft transplantation. This technique was developed by Dr. Kong Hui Lee and represents a modification of the double bone plug technique to minimize meniscal extrusion and improve meniscus fixation. In this technique, we will describe how we prepare the allograft, how the three tunnels are created, the passage of the graft, and how we fix the meniscus to the capsule. A matched meniscus allograft is obtained, and two 8x10 mm bone plugs are created at the anterior and posterior root. A number two fiber loop suture is then placed around the posterior root and passed through the bone plug and cut at the free end. This is repeated for the anterior root. A horizontal mattress suture is also placed at the posterior medial aspect of the meniscus, 2 cm from the posterior root. This will be threaded through the third tunnel. The position of the sutures are as shown. The procedure is performed with the patient's supine and the leg held in an arthroscopic leg holder. An 18 gauge needle is used to pie crust the medial collateral ligament percutaneously. This allows for improved visualization of the medial compartment. Any remnant meniscus is debrided with an arthroscopic shaver and radio frequency probe. The posterior and anterior root footprints are marked out and used to guide tunnel placement. A 0.2 cm medial to the posterior tunnel is noted for a placement of the third tunnel later. The posterior tunnel is first drilled from the anterior medial surface of the tibia to the posterior root attachment which is located 1 cm posterior to the apex of the medial eminence. A retrograde reamer is used to create a 15 by 9 mm tunnel and relay sutures are passed. A posterior medial tunnel is also created 2 cm medial to the posterior tunnel and relay sutures are passed as well. At this stage, the anterior medial portal is extended to create a mini arthrotomy for the drilling of the anterior tunnel and to facilitate a low passage. With hyperflexion of the knee, a 15 by 9 mm tunnel is reamed at the anterior root attachment. This tunnel is drilled to the anterior tibia just lateral to the posterior tunnel and relay sutures are placed with the aid of the arthroscope. It is important to ensure that the relay switches are passing freely through the same soft tissue window to ensure smooth passage of the allograft. Next, we will move on to placement of the allograft. The posterior and posterior medial relay switches are put gently until the posterior bone plug has docked with the posterior tunnel. Both posterior and posterior medial switches are pulled simultaneously to minimize meniscal inversion. Once satisfactory placement is confirmed using the arthroscope, the anterior bone plug is pulled into the anterior tunnel under direct vision. Once all the bone plugs are secure, all three sutures are pulled to tension and clamped with a hemostat. The anterior and posterior root sutures are secured to the anterior cortex with a fully threaded bioadsorbable suture anchor. Lastly, the posterior medial suture is fastened to the anterior cortex using a 12mm cortical button. The anterior horn is secured first under direct visualization through the mini arthrotomy. Two or three mattress sutures are placed to secure the anterior horn to the anterior capsule. Next, wet scoop conditions are re-established with the closure of the arthrotomy. The posterior horn is secured with 4 to 5 vertical and horizontal mattress switches in an all inside technique. Lastly, the mid body of the meniscus is secured to the medial capsule using an inside out technique. A final arthroscopic inspection is performed and the integrity of fixation is tested with a hook probe. 